page eight, fascination. Three, four time. Got lots of accidentals and eighth notes and things going on. It's, you'll notice the first measure only have two counts in it. There's four eighth notes, that's two counts. It's a pickup measure. Well, the last measure at the bottom of page nine has one count in it, so we're still good. We got three counts total. The point is we're coming in on beat two, and that's the left hand does that. Then the right hand comes in on beat three, three and. And what, I'm gonna do the right hand first. When the right hand comes in, you have this C, it's just a broken C chord. And again, we're, we're doing this finger pedaling thing. We're just holding the notes down. They're tied. After you play it, it's tied. You're just holding each one to it. So it's four or three and three and one, two, three. And again, I want to try and play everything connected with the fingers if I can. I can put in the phrasing and all that later. So right now, four, one, two, three, one. Here. You're kind of stuck with doing that for now, but do the best you can. And hold that down. It's a half note as you play the C. And then you let it up. And now we got the finger pedaling going the other way. Each one is tied. Just hold it down. Like so. So it's one, two, three, tied. Now they're all tied for one beat. And then we're going to do that again. Three and three. And third line down, first measure. One and two and three. On B3, you're resting. And then it's it's a fifth finger, and. So again, it's one and two and three, and. Hold these down, they're tied. And then come up for the last bit on that line is here. Because the left hand does, that, that's what the LH is, the left hand, but I'll left hand later here. And then next line, second measure is here. And then going on to page nine, lift up, and it, it's LH for the D. So the LH is going to do the D and the C, and then you're going to do the A flat G here. And then there's a rest, and you do it again. Fourth line down, you gotta reach up. It's an octave. So and they're not tied here. Here. Rest. Last line. The next to the last line there at the the last two notes on the, the eighth notes at the end of that line, the F. Reach up, third finger. And then here. What we want to do is connect the top note. That's the melody. So try and do that with the fingers. You're going to lift up here and play it again. And then lift up this one and play it again. So it's... I'm connecting the top note. It's important to have that kind of control on your fingers. So I encourage you to work on that. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. Take it real slow. Just real slow and easy. Just lift up on that one and get ready to play the next one. Then lift up on that one again. Get ready to play the next one. And as you continue to work on it, you get a little faster. It feels weird at first. It really does. I, I practice this quite a bit. Should do it in both hands. The idea is we want to feel the melody. And we want to feel this. We want to feel that. Regardless of what else is going on, we want to feel that. So we're concentrating on the melody. Left hand, well, you're starting up here. And then you're sort of in this position in an F sharp. Second line. Not doing a lot, am I? Third line, last measure. The left hand plays the C sharp D. That's what the LH is for. They could have put the notes in the lower staff, but they chose to put it in the upper staff. Okay, whatever. And then the next line, come down. After the D, the LH got to do that C sharp, the left hand. So it's. Last line, one, two, three, one, two, and. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and. Okay, whatever. Put the hands together. What do we got? Well, I don't know. So it's here. You're not holding these down, but you're holding these down. So it's two and.
these left hand down, notes down. Two, three, one. And here, lift the hands together. Two, three, one. And the left hand does. Two. There. Now be careful at the top of page nine, it's different. The F and the A that were tied, that's just a half note, not a dotted half note. You lift up on B3. So that B natural is by itself. See, that's different, but before they've always been dotted half notes. So here. And then the left hand, hold down. So again, at the top of the page, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one. Remember, we're in three, four time. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one, and two. You don't finger pedal these, you just clean. And that's a half note, hold it down, and the left hand does this again. And the last two measures. Well, let's just do the last line. You're here, here, hold that down. Now hold that. You lift up this when you play that. down is tied to the end and then add the left hand to it. Notes are tied, that's tied. So at the end you got all these notes held down. So it's last two measures. One, two, three, one, off. Now that's just a quarter note up there. Sort of what it goes. Then when you get a handle on the notes and the rhythms and all, then we can put in the articulation. Now don't rush through this. Make sure you got a handle on the notes and the rhythms and all. Get that. No hesitations anywhere. Because as we add articulation and dynamics and all that, it just makes it more complicated. So don't get ahead of yourself. Get one thing at a time here. And then once you're ready for the articulation, then we're going to slur this together. We want to connect the melody. There. And the second measure, second line, it comes up. It's a new phrase. It's like taking a breath. There's a little silence. And the third line is a staccato. You don't have to accent it, just lift for the phrase. Lift it's between each of these phrases, lift up. Page nine, second measure, staccato. And staccato there, I don't know why. I don't agree with that staccato. I maybe a long staccato, not a short one. Kind of a, like an eighth note length. I don't I don't like the staccato on that one. However, let's go on. And then one beat rest. And again it's the melody. phrases all the way through it. And once you have a handle on that, you can do the dynamics as to the melody. Sort of soft in that range. Everything else has to be background. Now when you play these, they're melody, so you just let them ring out. All of this is melody. But this, this left hand, that's not melody. That should be softer, softer. The second line, first measure, only the first note's melody. The others can be soft. Like so. So again, at the beginning. So 
in that range. Now, when you get down to the bottom, they give you a, a moderately loud, an MF. So you come up just a little bit to the sort of loud range here. And here, that's melody in the left hand. The right hand's got to be soft. There. So at the beginning of page 9, all the way through. And then you come back down to moderately soft for the melody. Then at the end of the third line, you're going to crescendo up to a loud. Right there. That's your loud. Don't get really super loud. That's out of character for this piece. This is not a real, this is just a nice flowing piece, a gentle piece. So don't get carried away here. Um, I, they have a dim at the end of the fourth line where you start diminuendoing. I'd come down to about a moderately loud here anyway. And then a little softer. Soft. See the P at the bottom, that's melody. I want to hear the C all the way to the end. There. Speed wise, they don't give you a speed, they give they just say with expression. If you're gonna sing it how fast you find recordings of this, and it goes at different speeds. You take it at your speed. There's a little polka retardo no there at the end. A polka rit means slow down a little bit. Slightly, just a little bit. Well, you have to feel that. Don't force it. You gotta feel that. But you need to feel these dynamics. At first you kind of force them. Eventually you'll feel them. You'll feel it go up to here. Go up to here. Maybe a little crescendo there, maybe not. It's up to you. It's, it's, it's you feel it. Don't play them all the same. You know, you got to find some variations in there, or, or some, some ways to alter it a little bit. So it's not always the same. However you feel it, get into it well enough to turn it into music. Now at the end, the last two measures in the left hand, you notice the tenuto lines above the descent. Don't know that you really need those because you're slowing down and you're getting softer and I want to hear the C. So just play those legato. I don't really want, know why they would put two neutrals in there. And the last note, the last chord there in the left hand, that two neutral actually applies to the C, not the G, because you're tying the G, you're done. It would be the C. They, it's like they want you to bring that out a little bit. I don't recommend it. Just keep it soft. We want to hear the C all the way through. I would like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. And I can do the dynamics. I will do the phrasing in the staccatos though, because that's important. So I'll give us four counts, a full three counts for the three, four time, plus one count because we come in on beat two. One and two and ready and go and. And 
three and one, two, three, one and two, three, one and two and three, one and two.